Doctors at the private clinic in Kiev where the injured activist Dmitry Balatov is recovering from surgery say he's making good progress. He's now fully conscious and has medical clearance to be moved for further treatment abroad for the wounds inflicted during his eight days of kidnap and torture. At this moment, Mr. Bulatov is in condition of medium difficulties. His healing is in accordance with the injuries he sustained, no faster or slower than normal. Our prognosis for his recovery are very positive, and he is in condition to be moved. The police are still stationed outside the hospital. They did make another attempt to interrogate Bulatov. They are allowed to his bedside, but he refused to answer their questions, saying that he felt sick. The doctors then ushered them out. The arrest warrant against Bulatov has now been cancelled and he'll be free to leave Ukraine tonight. We have a court decision which evidence him that he is innocent and we can send him to one of the European countries for the urgent treatment he needs. We can say that today will save his life. In Kiev's Independence Square, tens of thousands of demonstrators gathered, still calling for the resignation of President Yanukovych, due back at his desk on Monday after recovering from a respiratory illness. The U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry, has pledged his support for what he called the fight for democracy by the protesters here. Sunday prayers were held in the square for the future of Ukraine, but as the stalemate continues, the fears of violent confrontation are growing. Right-wing groups are splintering away from the main body of protesters who have been determined to keep the demonstrations peaceful. Some of them were out on the streets of Kiev being trained in tactics in close-quarter fighting with the police. David Cheta, Al Jazeera, Kiev.